Bulginaka, do you know that cybercrime is becoming a growing problem in Fiji? Cybercrime is defined as a crime in which a computer is the object of the crime, such as hacking and spam. Cybercrime is also cyberbullying and using fake profiles to cause panic and spread false news. If you're involved in this or know anyone who's committing these crimes, report them immediately. I'm Polly. And I'm Peter. We host the Traffic Jam Show on City FM. From 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. every weekday. Do, do the, the right, right thing. In this bulletin, MPs appear over judges trying to save fish for the future. And Donald Trump is at it again. From the studios of FBC Suva, Kuroi Tandua. Government Member of Parliament Vijendra Prakash has been released on bail by the Suva Magistrates Court. Prakash is charged with one count of giving false information to a public servant and one count of obtaining financial advantage. It is alleged that he obtained $33,670 in allowances from the Acting Secretary General to Parliament. The Fiji Independent Commission Against Corruption alleges that Prakash lied to the Parliament Secretariat about his residential address to obtain the travel and accommodation allowance. The court heard that Prakash has allegedly listed his address as Windrandra in Naita Siri, whereas he actually lives in Omkar Road, Narere. Prakash informed the court that he has a farm in Vunindawa and lives at both locations. The government MP has been bailed for a sum of $5,000, ordered not to reoffend and to surrender his travel documents to court. A stop departure order has also been issued against the MP. The matter will be called on January 25th. Sustainable fishing is one of the major challenges faced by most countries, including Fiji, and needs serious attention to avoid the risk of depletion. Fisheries Minister Semi Kuroi Lovisao says Fijians need to be mindful to leave enough fish in the ocean, respecting habitats, and ensuring people who depend on fishing can maintain their livelihoods. Kuroi Lovisao adds the impacts of climate change, land based pollution, and economic demand remain a grave concern. And fit for purpose legislation to support activities geared towards the development of a sustainable coastal seafood platform. This legislative provisions will support and guide the need for science enforcement, management measure, and economic progress in a way that recognizes sustainable development goals. The Fiji Roads Authority is concerned with the repeated acts of vandalism on assets owned by contractors. Subcontractor A. Kumar Bulldozing had heavy machinery severely vandalized on the Korotum Road in Rakiraki last week. The FRA says fuel was also siphoned from one of the plants. The subcontractor was undertaking urgent work along the Korotumbu Road, which was to be completed within two weeks. These works will now be severely delayed due to the act of vandalism. The matter has been reported to police. The Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals have raised concerns with the lack of awareness on treatment of animals in the country. Since January, the association received more than 60 reported cases of animal cruelty and have attended to more than five every day. Shelter Clinic Manager Shanil Narayan says they have taken an initiative to organize community programs and awareness through social media. However, this is not enough. Because we have also been doing a lot of education and awareness through our social media, uh, our clients coming into SPC and outreach clinics, we have been speaking with people. So before people actually didn't know where to go and where to report these cases, now they actually know that you can report it with SPC. So probably that's one of the reasons the cases have gone up. The awareness to have an inclusive community will now be more robust following the launch of the Fiji Council for People with Disabilities website together with the Directory of Service Providers. While officiating at the launch, Deputy New Zealand High Commissioner to Fiji, Michelle Podmore, says this will also get all organizations under the FNCPD, the stakeholders and communities to learn more about the rights of persons with disabilities and raise awareness on the issues faced by them. Podmore says this will also allow people with disabilities to access information, learning processes and other basic social services. She says the new website will include the relevant information of the 33 disability organizations registered under FNCPD. So this is essentially to make sure that the whole range of services uh, are accessible for people with disabilities and for yes. Or service providers, and yeah, there are two two aspects to this project. One is the publishing of the disability sector resource directly, and the second is the 
the website of the National Council for Persons with Disabilities. Up ahead, National Reps pleases Beba and Labasa wary of Suva. The people of Tavuni yesterday witnessed some exhilarating rugby with current national reps and members of the National Sevens training squad displaying the skills at the 13th Fiji Beta Wairiki Sevens. Present to witness and assess the performance is National Sevens coach Gareth Beba, who flew into Tavuni yesterday. This is the first time Beba is scouting for talents at the Fiji Beta Wairiki Sevens, and his presence has boosted the performance of local rugby teams. I've been pleased with you know things I have seen from certainly from the reps themselves and the the, tra the wider training squad. And one of the biggest things that obviously I, I look for in here is who's got the work ethic. And you know there's not a you know you're not standing in the middle of Hong Kong at the moment. You're in Wariki and you've got to do exactly the same thing. And that's what I'm looking for. The flying Fijians may be COVID-19 free, but there's another obstacle they have to overcome before playing its first Autumn Nations Cup match on Sunday. These players will know today whether they will be cleared to travel to Scotland to face Georgia. The Flying Fijians are back to full training after two weeks in isolation. Former national captain Simon Raiwalui says there's been some good feedback from the players regarding the coaching staff. They've, the players have welcomed them uh, really well. They have uh, really good feedback on what they're, what they're doing. Uh, one of the main plans for us was... Uh, as a Fiji, as a rugby nation, is to get back to our DNA, what, what, is, what we're good at, what, what are our main skills, and emphasising them while growing the, all the basics as well. So that, that, uh, our coaching team has bought into that. The Galaxy Hotel and Apartments Powerwise Electrical Lombasa football side will be going in with high hopes in the Vodafone Fiji fight clash against Vin's work Suva tomorrow. Despite making a losing start, the O'Neill coached side proved their worth as they bagged two crucial wins on their home ground. Goalkeeper Aquila Mate Suva says they will go the extra mile to give their fans the win at the Sobrail Park. The boys are prepared to, it, to deliver inside the ground and like I said, uh, we won't take any risk. Uh, we will not underestimate Suva and I think uh, the consistency and all the confidence level will be showing up until we play on Saturday. 32 bowlers will be part of the Suva Bowling Club Master Pace Tournament tomorrow. Top bowlers from around the country are expected to take the greens once again with the likes of Nandi Bowling Dua, Ravinesh Prasad and Kushal Pile, Semesa Naiseruvati and others. Silver Bowling President Samuela Tukilangi says the competition will lay the platform for the young and seasoned bowlers to dominate the greens. So only the top bowlers in Fiji will be playing this weekend and playing pairs. And also I'd like to thank our sponsor. Without the sponsors nowadays, sports like uh, bowls, which is a minor sport, hardly can uh, host this kind of event. Cloudy periods with some showers and isolated afternoon or evening thunderstorms can be expected today. Showers increasing to rain and becoming more frequent and heavy from later today as well. Moderate east to southeast winds are fresh at times. Moderate to rough seas can be expected. And that is your FBC Morning News. Do join us at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. And remember, in times of crisis, you need factual news that you can trust. Stop believing fake news about the COVID-19 on social media. Fight misinformation by getting only the facts about coronavirus from verified news sources like FBC TV, radio and digital news at fbcnews.com.fj. Keeping Fijians connected with the truth. हमारे खूबसूरत देश फिजी में चाइल्ड अब्यूज की घटनाएं आए दिन बढ़ रही हैं। क्यों बच्चों का मासूम बचपन अब्यूज का शिकार हो जाता है अपने बच्चों की सुरक्षा का खास ख्याल रखें। उनसे बातचीत करें उनके दोस्तों के बारे में जानें। आज के बच्चे देश का भविष्य है
मैं दीप्ति और मैं मोनिश आपके हम सफर शामिल हो जाए हमारे साथ मंडे टू फ्राइडे फाइव फोर्टी फाइव आई एम सी टेन आई एम तक रेडियो फिजी टू देश की धड़कन पर